I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky Bobby. All right, ready? Well, it really depends on what they're thinking, right? And, and you know, just off the cuff, I would, I would say there's several buckets of people out there that are non-CrossFitters and how they feel about CrossFit. You have people that say, that's so extreme. You know, I need to get in shape before I can even try CrossFit. And that's one of the biggest fallacies that, that, that are out there. You do CrossFit to get in shape. You don't get in shape for CrossFit. This isn't the Olympic trials. You know, there's nothing to qualify for. Um, people need to understand that what they see on TV, the ESPN games that hopefully Trey eventually get to, that's the top 1% of the world. You know, that's, that's, that's the Pro Bowl of the NFL. You know, so it's, it, for that to be representative of, the, of all of CrossFit, they're good ambassadors, but to, for the everyday person, they see people like Rich Froning. You know, that, that's, they need to understand not everyone's like that. You know, that you won't be going head to head. You're not even competing against anybody, really. Um, you're not com going head to get head against people like that. And uh, I would say for those people that are timid and apprehensive, they need to understand that it's a very welcoming, nurturing environment, and the workouts are infinitely scalable. Uh, we, we, we pay close attention to safety, um, technique, and we advance people along that sort of uh, continuum when they're ready. We never push people past what they're ready. And I think that, um, you know, to go even further, I think sometimes you find gyms that, you know, not all gyms are equal. We're affiliates, we're not franchises, so we're not equally trained. There's differences amongst all of us. It's important to find the right affiliate that understands this, that, that everybody comes in with pre-existing conditions, injuries, whatever, you know, or whatnot. And you need to treat these people as individuals and find the right path for them. And, to, and you as a trainer, you as their coach, need to be aware of what they can do, what they can't do, and how are you going to have or what plan you have to get them to get to that next level of fitness, wherever they start from. Now you have the other people that are fitness, that are in fitness. They might be bodybuilders. They might be just gym rats. I was one of them, you know, before CrossFit. I saw, like, all these people wearing CrossFit shirts, and they acted real cocky and had some weird language and weird, you know, shorthand, you know, descriptions of workouts that I didn't understand. And um, I, I always thought that it was, a, like, very elitist, you know, that some people walked around with a certain uh, arrogance in that, that if you weren't one of the cool kids, you can't do CrossFit. And I think that's still out there today. And um, I think on that note, for those people, they need to understand it goes similar to what I was saying before. You need to find the right gym. Um, not to really talk and promote us at CrossFit 858, but we believe in using everything, both within CrossFit, outside of CrossFit, all strength and conditioning, bodybuilding, powerlifting, even some martial arts stuff, boxing stuff that we use. We bring it all together, you know, and that we welcome all, all walks, you know, for, of fitness life, I guess. You know, if you're a bodybuilder, we want you in here. If you're a figure competitor, we want you in here. We're not elitist at all.